Today I'm going to be going over how to assemble an AR-15 upper receiver. A couple things to note that may be different on my AR-15 than on yours is I am using a free-floating handguard, not one of the plastic ones. I also have a fully assembled bolt carrier group already, so I'm not going to be covering that. I also don't have the more classic uh, style, style of sights that will go on my upper. It's just a, a normal rail. And so those are some things that I won't be covering in this video. Okay, first step, some of the tools that you're gonna need. Um, you're gonna need a roll pin punch set. Um, you don't necessarily need this. this is an AR-15 combo tool kit uh, with torque wrench and all that stuff. Uh, it's also nice to have a pair of pliers um, and a set of screwdrivers, which I don't have here. Um, and that's pretty much it. Okay, we're going to start off with the ejection port cover. Mine actually came partially assembled. Uh, oftentimes they won't come with uh, this little ring on the bar or the spring already inserted, so sometimes you have to put that together yourself. Okay, so for the ejection port, I'm going to put a little bit of the girt lube on it. Notice there's the uh, the clippy on this end. And if yours didn't come with that on that, you'll have to put it on there yourself. And then I have the smooth end on the left. Let's slide that in. And then you're gonna hold your spring here with this long side on the right side and the short side on the left. You can see that. And so it gets pressure on this side we're gonna have to twist this spring once around this can be a little bit tricky okay and once you do that push it through i still want to put my pinky there on the end and push it through while i'm holding the spring in place and then we'll just push it all the way through okay the next thing we're going to do is the ford assist there's not very many parts with the forward assist, just the spring, the forward assist itself, and the, the rod. Okay, so for the forward assist, we're going to stick this side on the inside because the, the pin will catch it there. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and stick that in. And then it's easiest if you stick your punch up like that, and then take your starter punch. Put it in from the top. So I'm going to take the starter punch, stick that guy in there. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put the barrel on. So put a little bit of anti seize compound on the threads, that way you don't, you can actually get your barrel off in the future if you ever want to do that. I also have an upper vice block. Now you could use like maybe leather gloves or something and pinch your upper, but Invest in an $18 upper vice block. It'll make your life not suck. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on. I'll just put a little bit of lube on the barrel too, so that way it'll go in. And then on this upper part here, so that way I can actually get the uh, nut on. As that put, That's the place it's going to engage. Um, there's, there was also a notch. I didn't really talk about it too much, but that's what keeps your barrel in the right orientation as you tighten it down. So we're going to tighten it down. Okay, and then you're you're gonna need something like this. I'll take it off the torque wrench and show you. So this just allows me to get on that barrel nut and then use my torque wrench. So I'm gonna put it on like that. I'm gonna stick my torque wrench in here at a 90 degree angle. Okay, and the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tighten it to about 35 foot pounds and then I'm gonna back it off. Oh boy, go the wrong way. It's right about there. I'm gonna back it off. And this is so that the threads properly mate. Um, and then you can do it twice or three times um, if you wanna back it off, but I usually just do that once. And then I'm gonna go to the manufacturer recommendation, which is 65 foot pounds. Okay, so this isn't ideal, but this will let me show you kind of what I'm seeing when I go up. So I want this thing to go to that 65. So I'm right at 60 right there. Now, about 65 right there. Okay, so now the barrel is on tight. Okay, now we're gonna be installing the gas tube. 
So we're going to take this guy, um, and you can see there's a little hole in there, and then that hole needs to line up with the hole in the top of the barrel. So make sure you put it on correctly. Okay, and you also see there's a little dimple here in the bottom of the barrel. That's going to line up where this, um, this nut's going to tighten into it. So you'll be able to feel that it's tightening up into that little divot, and then it won't let it turn. And that's what's going to keep everything straight. And it's really important that you get that lined up there, if you're ever curious. So now you can see that I, I'm not completely tight, but it's starting to go in that little divot there. It's still a little loose, but it's lining up good. Okay. So now I'm going to tighten these down. Okay. Okay, so now that's there. And now I'm going to install the gas tube. I'm going to stick the gas tube in. Uh, you see, there's a it, there, it's, it's not perfectly straight, and that's by design, because one end is going to go into the upper, and then this other end is going to go into this gas block. You want to line that up so the hole in the gas tube, okay, right there, the hole, so you can see the hole in the gas tube and the hole um, in the gas block line up. And then we're going to take our pin. Be careful with that. Unaligned. Take this pin and we're going to get it in there. Now, I they make punches that specifically hold this gas tube pin. Um, I don't have one, so I'm going to go find myself a pair of needle nose pliers and do it ghetto style. Line it up and whack it in, get it started. Okay, and once you get that in, you have a perfectly installed gas tube. Now, if you want to check that it's actually blown, you can stick your finger in on this end, block that. And you can actually blow and feel the air coming out the other end. Okay, now because my handguard actually extends a little bit beyond my barrel, I'm going to put my flash hider on before I stick my handguard on. Okay, so I'll put that washer on first. Put this guy on. We're gonna tighten her down. It's not like one of the muzzle uh, muzzle brake that's flat that you have to line up and get all nice and pretty vertical. This is, I'm gonna tighten this to approximately 35 foot pounds, which would be right there. Actually, just that's a bunch of bull crap. I don't know. I'm just tightening it until it feels good. Okay, now we're gonna be installing the handguard. So on this, you'll notice there's two holes that are just circular, and then there's these two square holes, and that's gonna match up with the hardware that I have. So the square nuts and then the bolts. So I'm gonna stick this guy on here. Because this, there's two little things that are gonna go on either side of the upper that are gonna help me line it up perfectly. And now I'm gonna put those two in here. This part's pretty simple, these two, these two bolts. Okay, I finally found something the right size, so I'm actually gonna do this for real. So you just gotta stick the square one in the square side and the round one in the round side. Tighten her down. Okay, I'm gonna tighten that a little bit more, but other than that, that is the fully assembled upper minus. I didn't put the uh, charging handle in, so I'll just go ahead and show you how to do that. Stick the charging handle, stick it in underneath so those two little ridges there underneath, it'll slide up in. And then you're gonna take your bolt carrier group just going to stick that up in there with the gas key and slide that in and it'll open the ejection port. Okay, and that is the fully assembled upper. And if you can't figure out how to put your fully assembled upper on your fully assembled lower, then you have no business putting together an AR-15 because that's pretty easy. Okay, just in case you actually really want to know how to do that. Like that. Line up that pin. Push that pin in. That in. That on there. Push that. Okay, and there you go. 